What's up guys, how you guys doing today? So I just woke up and the very first thing I noticed when I woke up is how sore my arms are. My arms are completely dead from doing triceps and chest the other day at the gym. Now if you guys aren't familiar with working out a lot, there's this thing called delayed onset muscle soreness. It's called DOMS for short. And basically what that means is even after you work out, the next day after you work out, you might not feel the soreness, or you might feel it a little bit, but usually the second day after working out, it like comes in full blast and you feel all of it. So that's how I'm feeling now. The DOMS is definitely kicking in. But I'm not complaining because I actually really enjoy the feeling of being sore because it makes me feel accomplished. It makes me feel like I actually did something and pushed my body. Now, of course, when I first started lifting, I didn't like that feeling, but after doing it for so long, I love the feeling now because there's sometimes I go to the gym and even if I push myself, I don't get that sore feeling and it makes me feel like it didn't do anything. Now, people always say no pain, no gain, and that isn't always 100% true because you could go to the gym, work your ass off and come home and not even be sore, but you could still grow from that workout. So it's not always 100% right, but I just like the feeling of being sore because once again, it makes me feel like I actually did something. Something. Your muscles are like anything else trying to sustain weight in this world. For example, if you have a piece of plywood and you put like a hundred pounds worth of stuff on that and it doesn't hold and it ends up breaking, what do you want to do? You want to go out and get a bigger piece of wood and a stronger piece of wood that can sustain that weight. Now what happens with your body is every single time you lift and push more weight, your muscles break down and they have to grow bigger to be able to sustain that weight. That's the whole reason why your muscles get bigger and actually grow. Now, if you just stay constantly pushing the same exact weight, your muscles really aren't gonna grow. You might get a little bit stronger, but they're not gonna get bigger and fuller looking. You're pretty much just toning at that point. You're just keeping what you have already looking good. Now, right now, I look like I'm a fucking scrawny piece of shit. Okay, I'm not scrawny, but I was a lot bigger um, probably about a year ago. I used to be able to put up 90 pound dumbbells. When I would do a dumbbell bench press, for example, which is you put a dumbbell on each hand and you basically just lay down on the bench and you chest press it. I would be able to put up 90 pound dumbbells doing that and that was kind of like my peak and that was a lot of weight for me at the time. And now it's even hard for me to put up like 70 or 75 pound dumbbells when I'm doing chest press. And guys, for people who don't work out, please do not mistake dumbbell chest press with actual benching because it is not the same thing. In a way it's similar, but not the weight comparison. Because if you think about it, if I have 90 pound dumbbells on each hand, that's 180 pounds. And it's also a lot harder because the weight is distributed evenly on both sides. And it's not just like you could be pushing one more side harder when you're actually doing a bench press. But back to what I was saying, that was like one of my strongest points. And I was a lot bigger and like huskier looking. But the thing about that is like I just didn't like the way I look. I kind of felt like I looked fat and like bloated all the time. My face was chubby. I had like no neck. I just didn't like it. So within this past couple months, I'd say the past probably six months, I decided to finally start cutting weight. And right now has this is the skinniest point I've been within like the past probably, I don't know, two years. And I don't even consider myself to be like majorly skinny right now. I just feel like I'm at like an appropriate body weight where I'm actually happy now. But for the longest time, I just wanted to have like this meathead fucking huge body look to me and I just don't like that anymore. But yeah, I don't know why I just went on this huge rant, but let's get started with the day. <laughs> 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 There's something definitely wrong with you. I'm beginning to really think so. Man, I get you too easily. Well, because I'm busy concentrating, making doctor's appointments, and you scared the shit out of a person. Are we going to P.O. Box and Walgreens, our yeah. daily routine? I just have to wash my face real fast. Alright. Damn, look how skinny I got! Losing some weight? Huh. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Plus 10 pounds. Grandmom's almost there too. She's gonna lose 10 pounds. I know. <laughs> Look, grandma lost pounds. more weight than you did. She lost 10 pounds, she flew apart. She flew bones. Oh my god, look, uh, I'm shaping. I see that. Yeah, I do. Wait, look, it's shaping! <laughs> I'm actually starting to like the way my hair is turning out. Do you it like it, Grandma? It's messy today. It is messy, look. No, it's not. Yeah, it is, look. Not like it usually, you usually have, it usually goes into more curlies, like. It is like messy that. today. I guess it's more just like a straight mess. I don't know. Yeah. Some it's it's different every single day. My hair doesn't fall the same way every single day. Yeah, it's weird. It looks really good. <laughs> Thank you. 
Even the lady at Burger King liked it. Yeah, right? <laughs> well, let me go wash my face. Alright. But what I was trying to say is my hair has been fucked up for the past couple of years. And I haven't been able to do anything with my hair because my hair was like starting to fall out. But it's actually starting to look really good and I like it. I'm gonna get her so easy. <laughs> oh, I didn't get you. So I've yet to eat breakfast this morning. Aww. This is why I can never finish sentences, guys. Because every single time I try and talk in this house, somebody interrupts me. Aww. This happens every time. I usually have to cut shit, like, out so much. Damn, Grom, you stunting today with them blue pants. What's Gucci? <laughs> hey, look, I didn't even get dressed. This is why I slept in last night. <laughs> <laughs> no, I slept in the I, I know, Grom's playing around, guys. What is this? You're holding your cigarettes in the ashtray? They're mom's because it, it, it's in the Don't ask me why. <laughs> what? That's what she does. She puts them in the ashtray. Where the hell are you going now? I want to get to the gym, but I don't know if it's too late. It's a little chilly out today. I, I've been loving this weather for these past two days, honestly. Because every other day besides us, it's, it's been super hot. And then there's just like a crazy rainstorm that happens at some point during the day. But it feels really nice today. But me and Grom are going to head to the P.O. Box right now. Like our daily ritual. <laughs> and uh, I gotta take my mom's car. Yeah, and this is like the earliest I've ever come to the post office. There's literally nobody here. So we don't have to stand to the line today, Grandma. Yeah, hopefully. I feel like I'm the only YouTuber that comes to the post office like as much as I do. I've literally been going every other day to here. It's nuts. All right, let's see what we've got. Flooded. Let's see a parcel. And a package box. I actually just had another box key that fell out. All right, so first up, number 24. Oh, ground, we got another parcel too. And number 13. Oh. All right, so this is what we got out of the boxes. We're gonna go put this stuff in the car and then get the other parcels. We're waiting for our parcels right now at the post office. Hit it, ground. Hey. <laughs> So apparently one of our packages are like in a cage and grandma was like, hopefully they don't send us another dog. <laughs> it was a joke. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. funny. Hopefully she can find our box. <laughs> We've been waiting here for like 10 minutes. Those are all of our packages back there. This box is huge. I wonder what's in there. It's light. We have all these packages. We're bringing them over into the car right now. We're rolling the car down and I'm grabbing this side and grandma lets go of it and the whole thing twist almost falls over. It fucked my thumb up. <laughs> all right, so we got our mail now. We're headed to Walgreens and I actually have to go in with grandma because I need deodorant I'm like running out of it and then I think I'm gonna pick up food and then we're gonna head home And I'll open these boxes for you guys this box that we have back here is huge But it's super lightweight, so I'm not really sure what's inside Grandma's gonna get an eyebrow pencil for her makeup and I also gotta get deodorant I'm almost out and I don't want to run out and then not have it on me because then I'm just gonna smell like shit and It's gonna be terrible got what we needed right ground right, Now let's try and get some food and head home we got food. I got food for grandma, mom, and me. And we're gonna go home, eat, and open these packages now. All right, let's get this started. And I'm actually gonna use this golden knife that somebody got me the other day. This is really cool looking. Bang toilet seats. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> I gotta try these out. A gift from Anthony Castro. Anthony Castro actually has sent me a bunch of stuff before. So big shout out to you, man. I really do appreciate this stuff. Oh my gosh, there's like four or five of these air horns in here. <laughs> This is funny. Oh my gosh. These are great. Thank you, man. These will come in handy. Maybe if I do a prank video with like a couple other of my friends, we can all use these at once and go around scaring people. So this is from Kat. I think your last name is pronounced Andel. I'm not really sure, but let's open this up. Dear Lance, hi. I'm Kat from Chicago, Illinois. I'm 18 years old and currently sending this from Germany. I have been sick for the past years with chronic Lyme disease and now I'm starting an awesome treatment here. I feel really sick all the time and I always look forward to seeing your vlogs and prank videos every day. They make me so happy and I'm always very excited to watch them. Your vlogs make me feel like I'm right there with you guys. I wish you so much luck in your career. There are some candy I sent you from Germany. I hope you enjoy. This is awesome. Thank you so much. I'm really sorry to hear about your disease and I hope you do feel better and the treatment works. Oh, I've never even seen this before. Crunchy peanut butter Kit Kats. That is interesting. Yeah. I'm really actually excited to try this. I love peanut butter. And we also got some like sour gummy bears from Germany. These are awesome, thank you so much. So this package is kind of heavy. I'm assuming there's like either candy or maybe like raspberry lemonade in here or something. Cause I feel like a drink substance. Let's open it up. <laughs> I was definitely correct about the raspberry lemonade. <laughs> there you go. Oh, this is definitely grandma style. Happy fucking birthday. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> so this seems to have opened. It's the black soap. Where's it at? 
Oh, yep, it fell out of the package. Mini megaphone keychain. Oh, this is perfect for grandma. <laughs> it's a universal remote the size of like my freaking body, grandma. That's just what I need. This is perfect. Size matters. Giant remote control. This is perfect. This way you can see all the buttons, grandma. You don't gotta like squint to look. <laughs> so this says open me first and it says have a great birthday on it. Asshole. <laughs> I like that. Happy birthday, Lance. Hope you have it. Hope you have an amazing day. Much love, Vanessa Maletta. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And if you guys are curious, my birthday is June 20th. So that's why she's saying have a great birthday. That was nice. This says, hey Lance, my name is Vanessa and I'm from Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. Just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. I hope this gets to you before the 20th. And it did. I love watching your vlogs. They're always so entertaining and make me laugh. Also, your laugh kills me every time. I love it. Thank you so much because my laugh is like a hyena laugh. It is so obnoxious, but people seem to enjoy it. I decided to send you some raspberry lemonade since it's your favorite and some candles that you can put on top of your birthday cake. I also included a giant ass remote so your family doesn't lose it again and some random prank items. I didn't know what to get you since you already done so many pranks. Looking forward to watching more of your vlogs. Much love, Vanessa. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. It was very nice. Yeah. I think grandma's going to need this the most out of anybody. <laughs> yeah, you can keep it downstairs for anybody. <laughs> it says, Dear Lance, I remember your grandma talking about Turkish taffy, so I got you some. After you're done scaring your mom with a rat, Gio might like to chase it around. Also some hard taffy that I never tried before, so I got one too. Juicy drop taffy and rice candy. Cars are for Jace or Lizzie's brother and wine charms for your mom. Enjoy, Jen. Thank you so much. Look at that, we got Turkish taffy. I've never even tried this before. So, Graham, this is what you were talking about, right? Turkish taffy. And then I guess these are the charms. Running rat. Uh, we got more Turkish taffy. Oh, juicy drop taffy. I've never actually seen this before. I used to do those juicy drop pop things all the time, but I've never seen like the taffy version of it. That's really interesting. Oh, and these are the charms. Oh, they're nice. These are really cool. Batan rice candy. Oh, cool. And this is like a car's uh, journal, I guess. Uh -huh. This is pretty cool. A little diary. Yeah, it. diary. Next up is a box from Lacey Thorian. I think that's how you pronounce your last name. I'm bad with pronouncing names. So there seems to be another box in here. I'm not exactly sure. Let's read the letter first. Hey Lance, I love watching your vlogs and your pranks are hilarious. Hope you and Lizzie are feeling better and get to celebrate your anniversary soon. I freaking love your grandma. She is so awesome. I work at Walgreens and had a bunch of wag gear. I think that's what that says. And since I know she loves Walgreens, I thought I would send her some. Also, the bracelet is for you and the necklace is for Lizzie. So you'll always have part of each other when you're in LA and she's back home. I hope you all enjoy. Best regards, Lacey T. Cool, cool. Oh, that was nice. Uh, Starburst gummies? Sours. This is interesting. Oh, a Walgreens cup. Wow. <laughs> Here you go, Grandma. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> oh, look, we also got... Oh, this will come in handy. Oh, for your good. chips, Grandma. Yeah, a bag that. closer. <laughs> oh, look at this, Grum. Oh. Now you got a new medicine thank holder. Thank you so much, sweetie. That was so nice of you. <laughs> that was so fun. Warheads worms. Wow, these are awesome. You guys send me candy I've never even seen before. And this has new on it, so definitely want to try these out. We got sweet tarts, ropes. Is this like a magnifying glass? Walgreens? Here you go, Grandma. Oh, yeah, <laughs> look, we got all these Walgreens goodies. These are cute. Grandma, oh, look, another oh, medicine. I, know. I could use that. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Another medicine thing? Yeah. Look at this. Oh my gosh. A Walgreens bag. All right. Grandma's all hooked up I'm with Walgreens. I'm all hooked up with Walgreens. They're going to love me. <laughs> a Walgreens first aid kit. <laughs> oh, this is so sweet. We got another one. Oh, oh my sweet. gosh, there's so many Walgreens things. Walgreens mug. Oh my god. A Walgreens plush toy thing. Oh, great. And another first aid kit. Oh, this was so sweet. Thank this you. This is honey. awesome. Look at all this Walgreens stuff Grandma has. This is so nice to see you. Thank you so very much. Very thoughtful. That's really cool. I love Walgreens. Grandma's like a Walgreens fanatic now. Oh, look how nice the bag is. <laughs> And I'll take it with me every time we go. Right? Fill me up. <laughs> People probably think we're like promoting Walgreens because of how much we go there. Yeah, we just go there all the time. I know, we just go there all the time. That was so nice. Mm -hmm. Hey Lance, loving your vlogs. I do daily vlogs as well, although I'm only at approximately 200 subs at the moment. A shout out would be awesome. I am from the Los Angeles area. Enjoy the prop money I made. We use these on several videos we have produced. It would be great for pranks. Oh, that looks pretty realistic. That's dope. Thank you so much. Not sure exactly what money this country is from, but it says it equals one U.S. dollar. And then 
15, what does N stand for? I'm not sure, buys me two liters Coca-Cola or one loaf of bread. That's awesome. Now we have money from another country. That's really cool and interesting. Oh, it says Namibian dollar. Doggy snacks, rawhide. Awesome. Oh, I love that. Yeah. You guys are very thoughtful. Thank you for sending over like stuff for our dog or my parents or even grandma or my sister. Yeah, you I guys are really cool. Thank you guys. A Nambian lighter. Definitely for grandma. Here you go, grandma. <laughs> we got some ramen noodles. Snap sticks. Not sure what this is. And we got some more ramen noodles. Hello Lance, my name is Eli Engelbrecht. I love your channel so much and you've inspired me to begin going to the gym. I come from Namibia in Africa and I'm white, lol. I sent you this pack with a toy for your dog and I bought grandma my lighter because she smokes, although I don't. There's a pack of two minute noodles that is basically ramen, but it is called that in my country. You and Lissy should try it. I put the 15 Namibian dollars in the pocket and is equal to one US dollar. There's a dry meat packet, it is good. It is, it is known as Biltong in our country. Thank you for making vlogs and being so motivational. Enjoy, I'm 13. Thank you so much for sending this over, Thank man. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Hello, Lance, we hope you enjoy the t-shirt we sent you. It's made with love, sweat, and unicorn tears. We've obtained the unicorn tears by kidnapping it and beating the shit out of it just for you. <laughs> You're funny as hell and we enjoy watching your YouTube vlogs. So in return for the laughs and giggles, we're sending you our first fucking shirt we've ever produced. We don't know your shirt size, so we're sending you a medium, which actually is my shirt size, so thank you. Because you're fucking awesome and you deserve it. Thumbs up. Thank you for all you do and producing entertaining content. Keep it up. The DPRD team. Thank you so much. Oh, that's nice. And then they gave me like some stickers. Let's check the shirt out. Awesome. This nice is pretty shirt. dope. Thank you so much. What is this? The prescription coffee mug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. I can safely assume this is probably for grandma. A gift from Wyatt Nelson. Enjoy your gift. Wyatt has sent over a lot of these mugs. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. If it's for me, thank you. I'm going to safely assume this is for Grandma. That's really cool. Wyatt has literally sent us probably like 10 mugs. So thank you so much, bro. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. This is what the mug looks like. That's really cool. Oh, I see raspberry lemonade. Let's see if there's a letter in here. I don't see one off the bat. What is this? Like a dog... Groomer thing? A dog brush? Hold on. Jungle Pet Massage Bath Brush. Dog Soft Silicone Bristle Slash Cone. Pet Fur Remover. Oh, so it is a pet grooming tool. Alright. Awesome. Thank you so much for this. This will come in handy. Oh my gosh. This is a lot of crystal light. That's perfect. Thank you. Oh, so there is a letter. It says, Hi Lance, I enjoy watching your videos. They're so funny, I can always count on you for a good laugh. The watch is for Lizzie and the brush for the dog. Keep up the great work. So I don't see a watch, so maybe there's supposed to be another package that is coming. But thank you so much, this is awesome. Whoa! Oh, you know what, this is from Anthony Casher. I remember him telling me he was gonna send this. This is a huge megaphone. This'll come in handy. I actually needed this in a few instances before when I was trying to make videos. This is great. Thank you so much. What is it, Lance? It's a megaphone. You talk into it. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, it says Anthony Castro. Hi, Lance. I sent you an email so you know what I send you because not all the items I sent can go on the right letter. I love when you scare everyone with the air horn, so I got you a bullhorn. Have fun. Thank you so much, man. Oh, wow. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. Get pranked, son. Turn it over. Hey Lance, I just thought it would be funny if I sent you a massive box only for you to find some old styrofoam. <laughs> Anyways, I really love your vlogs and always keep refreshing my sub box when it's near 4 o'clock. Thank you for making my day so awesome and you should have something real coming your way too so it isn't just this empty box from Jackson. Oh, thank you so much for the styrofoam. <laughs> Maybe I can use the styrofoam for something. Oh, uh, you know, I'm so dumb. So when Grandma got the little gift bag, from Walgreens that the person sent to her. When I was reading the letter, I thought it said wag for some reason. I think it actually meant to say bag. So it was gift bag instead of like gift wag. I don't know, but I messed up. So I am really hype about this peanut butter Kit Kat. I'm about to open it up and try it right now. It looks really good. What it looks like, let's try it out. Oh, you asshole. You got me. <laughs> Mmm, this is really good though. I love peanut butter. <laughs> Look, you finally got me. <laughs> that's why I gotta hide those air horns. That's why I hide them. 
All right, guys, so this has been happening for literally like the past couple weeks now. And I wanted to address this in yesterday's vlog, but now it's just kind of getting out of hand. And I, I felt like awkward about addressing it, but I'm just going to say fuck it and address it now. So lately, people have been coming around my house and beeping and screaming my name, whether it's early morning or late at night or even during the day. And people are like screaming my name, yelling, Lance, Lance, Lance. Or like people will actually come up and knock on my door and ask if I'm here or not. Guys, please respect our privacy. This is my private home for a reason. It's our family home. Yeah. It's your your home is like LA and here. This is our family home and you know, it's really uncomfortable for all of us. We appreciate that you love Lance and all of that, but you also have to respect our privacy, please. Yeah, guys, like I love taking pictures with you and meeting you all and everything, but please let's keep that in a public place. Like if I'm out at the mall, for sure, come up to me ask for pictures, whatever you want to do, I really appreciate it and I love meeting you guys. But please, when I'm home, don't come by my house and like yell my name. I don't know how some people are finding my house it's and where like, I live, it's but... It's kind of like intrusive, especially with our neighbors. They have little kids and it's a private little community and it's disrespectful and our neighbors aren't loving this too much and you know, it's to the point where I may have to actually have to put my house up for sale and move because for privacy issues. Again, we appreciate everything and that you love Lance and all that, but please, it's our private home. Yeah, please respect our private home. I, I would appreciate it if you guys can understand and respect that. The reasoning I'm mentioning this right this second is because it literally just happened. Four dudes were in a car circling around like near my house area, just screaming my name. And guys, you gotta understand that there's other people that live in this area too. It's not just me and my family. But we would really appreciate it if you can just respect our privacy and not come by my house area. If you wanna meet me, I go by the mall all the time. I'm always out in public always like me and grandma always go out to Walgreens and stuff like that And I'm not trying to sound rude or disrespectful when I say this because it's the last thing I want I just want you guys to understand and respect our privacy look now My mom's like paranoid that like people are gonna keep coming by our house I gotta make sure the doors are locked. I gotta make sure the cameras are on outside You know because I don't know you may get some crazy person that does something stupid, you know, I I'm And then we're gonna have to very, end up calling the cops. Yeah, yeah. I'm very uncomfortable about the whole situation and you know, I don't want to have to move. We just moved here. Yeah, I know. And, my house. and partially it's my fault because I'm always recording around my house area and I, I should be more conservative about how I do things. But you know, I'm still a kid. I'm still learning the whole process and, and everything. Unfortunately, what's going to happen is your vlogs are going to have to change. If I have to move, you're not going to be able to get as many great vlogs. We may do the inside of our house, but never on the outside. Yeah. I mean, it's so guys, if you don't want that to happen and you don't want us to end up moving, just please stop coming by our house and like yelling my name at the top of your lungs because the neighbors are going to start getting pissed off as well. My mom wants to take over the vlog today. I'm taking today. over the vlog today. We're going to have a nice day by the pool, maybe a martini. A martini. Here, hold the camera. <laughs> do you know how to vlog? No, I don't know how to vlog. Let's figure this shit out. Oh wait, go. this is a fat version. How do I get it to slim me down? The fat version? Yeah, and how do we get it to slim down the picture? Here, hold it with your other hand and hold it like this. This is too much here. Okay. We'll hold it. We'll hold it with one hand. Okay. And you hold it out. You extend. Now. Okay. You want. You want to like not cut off your head completely. Okay. There you go. All right. So everybody, what they keeps asking for tours of my house. If Lance could keep one room clean in my house, I would gladly give you a tour. So on your comments, put on there, Lance, clean up your messes, and your mom will <laughs> give me a tour of the house. <laughs> I can't, there's only like every room is a mess because we have boxes all over, his junk all over, any random moment. <laughs> As you can see here, Arizona iced tea, there's a Dunkin' Donuts cup, peanut shoes. This is actually my mom's. Wait, Keys. Mom, you're not even saying that. Wait, mama, mama. even in my laundry room. Wait, wait, wait. Yeezys on my counter. Like, it's ridiculous. Mom, this is your Dunkin' Donuts cup um, that okay, I paid for and bought for you. So and don't like bullshit me with Also, that. in my yard, he won't even pick up the stuff from the last party that we had so he can put it back where it belongs by the shed area so okay. that it's nice and clean. I guess this is just like roast Lance Day. Roast right? Lance. And any questions that you have about Lance, the most embarrassing things, ask them in the <laughs> comments and I will try to reply. Okay. And I will enjoy it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank That's you. enough of my mom. I'm gonna go get changed right now and we're gonna go into the pool. Okay, so before I say what I wanna say, the reason I have my shirt off right now is because I'm gonna go in the pool and I have my bathing suit on. But I feel like there's always gonna be those people in the comments who always have something negative to say about whatever I say. And yes, I understand. 
I put myself in this position, I've shown people around the area like where I live and shit, and people can probably easily find my house based off of what I record around every single day. And there's gonna be the people in the comments that are gonna be like, oh, well, maybe if you wanted fucking privacy, you shouldn't record your daily life and show people what you wanna do. Well, this is what I enjoy doing. I like showing you guys what I do throughout the day, and I like entertaining people. I signed up for this to entertain people. I didn't sign up for this for people to come knocking on my door at my house and wanting to meet me at my own house. Once again, I love with a passion meeting you guys. It is okay if you come up to me in public, but not at my own house. And you know, I get it. Like, I understand why people do this stuff because they think it's really cool. They know where I live. They want to come by and say hi. And to be completely honest, if I wasn't in the social media world and I was a fan of somebody, I would probably want to do the same thing. So I understand exactly where people are coming from and why they want to do those things. Because it's cool. I would think it's really cool too. But at the same time, people have to understand boundaries and how far they can push things. I'm not trying to go on like a complete huge rant on this. I just want you guys to understand and respect our privacy. That's really all I ask. Yo, come on, come on. <laughs> I love the way he runs. Gio, wanna go in? You wanna go in? Come on. Every single time he comes inside, he goes straight to his food. I just gave him the new toy. He seems to like it. Whenever he gets a new toy, he like gets pissed off whenever someone tries and gets near him. Pool time. Duh. What the hell? Put the phone down. <laughs> <laughs> Keep drowning her. Wait, wait. <laughs> Where are you going? Try to get out. Try to get out. Oh, yeah, she's like spinning about. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you splashed my camera! <laughs> Look guys, I'm starting to hear shit now. So I just came inside from the pool area and I saw grandma, so I'm like, hey, what's up, grandma? And I thought she said asshole. What did you say, grandma? I said that's good. I didn't say asshole. But like, I don't know. I guess she calls me asshole so many times that I just feel like she's always gonna say that. So that's what I heard in my head. That's funny. But what are you doing, grandma? I'm cleaning up. A bit. Hey. My mom just texted me saying that they're putting the dog in the pool and they come tape it. Let's go see how this is gonna turn out. <laughs> come on, boy. Come on. Go. I think you just gotta put him in on the step. <laughs> He's sort of swimming. <laughs> he wants to get. <laughs> Well, at least he can stand right there. <laughs> Look how scrawny he looks. You gotta teach him. You just gotta let him keep swimming while you hold him. <laughs> he somewhat knows how to swim. But we tried it. Dude, that shirt makes you look dark as hell. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Neon color. I'm heading out right now to go pick up Lizzie because we haven't hung out in a few days. Every single time, there's a day that goes by that we don't hang out. Everybody in the comment section are like, where's Lizzie, where's Lizzie, where's Lizzie? Guys, you gotta understand that like we don't have to hang out every single day. And it's not really healthy for like young couples to hang out every single day. We need a break sometimes, guys. I know you guys wanna see her in the videos as often as possible, but you have to understand that it's not healthy and it could cause problems in our relationship if we are with each other 24 seven. This car has been sitting under the sun all day long and my seats are on fire. Wow, the door's unlocked for once. Yep, what up? What's up? What's going on? <laughs> oh no, she does it again. <laughs> She's got a foundation on, guys. We gotta scrub it off her face. That's why I didn't look at you. I knew it. I saw it right away. Let me say. Look, look, she's hiding it. <laughs> Lizzie is so hyped because you got a coloring book. <laughs> <laughs> She's dead ass sitting here and coloring. Why not? It looks like you got freckles now on your nose from that. I'm uh, peeling. I know, me too. Feeling all over the place. This is from summer. If my balls are peeling. I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> I have to go to Chickie's, but it's too graphic for me, nuts. My dad and mom are going out to dinner. I would go with them, but they said they were going to like some pizza place. I don't want pizza. If you figure out where you're going, I'll come. Stop skipping through my vlog. Why do you even watch it? You just do that to piss me off. He don't even watch it. He just skips through it. He's like, how long's your vlog? Is it 20 something minutes? He's like, oh, it'll take me like a minute to watch it. <laughs> I swear, guys, my dad is so dumb sometimes. He was like, not that many people are watching this vlog, huh, this time. And I was like, Dad, are you dumb? I uploaded it one hour ago. Asshole. He's like, well, it's not doing as good as the other ones. Yeah, because everybody watches the vlog within the first hour, Dad. <laughs> what? I'm going to take my drone out and fly high in the sky. 
<laughs> he just mimics me every fucking time he watches these videos. <laughs> Fast forward. <laughs> Boy, you all wet. Sabrina, put him in the pool again. What happened? <laughs> Punch you punched him in the nuts? No. no in his chest. I like oh. he on my shoe and I just wailed him. <laughs> Everybody says asshole is the way we say I love you in our asshole, family. Asshole now. I feel bad, but that was just my reaction. You freaking hurt my foot. And my reaction, I learned it young, is when somebody does something, you just react with a bunch. Sorry. <laughs> She's almost done coloring this. Me and Lizzie are gonna go out and try and get dinner. I feel like when I'm older, I'm gonna be one of those people who just gets fat as fuck because they don't care and they just love food. Like, I'm surprised I'm not fat right now. Luckily, I try and like limit myself sometimes, um, but I just feel like that's not gonna happen when I'm older. I was gonna, sometimes, when? <laughs> you limit yourself? I've never seen a limit on you. I don't know. <laughs> if overeating was a crime, I'd probably have to spend the rest of my life in prison right now. <laughs> <laughs> I always overeat. That's but the funniest thing you've said in a while. You know, I love food. In a while, you're an ass. <laughs> I really feel like going to Cheesecake Factory right now, but the closest one is about 20 minutes away, and I don't know if I can last another 20 minutes without eating. And then we're probably going to wait a while to even be seated because it's always packed there. And it's a Friday. Yeah, so we're just going to head around the corner and go to Olive Garden, which we're probably going to have like a 20 minute wait for there anyway. We got a table already. Oh, we have a table? Yeah. So no wait? Alright, I'll park. Hey, look at that. We don't even gotta wait. Got a table right off the bat. That's lucky. Especially because it looks like it's packed here. I'm trying to find a parking spot right now, and I can't even find one. Guys, I'm sorry, but it is impossible for me to not talk about food in a vlog unless I am extremely sick and I can't even eat. I think I'm gonna try something new today and either get the chicken Marcella or I might get this thing. It's called Spaghetti Rosso with chicken and bacon. <laughs> That was a fail. You completely missed my head. So it's been like 10 minutes since we placed our order and we still haven't received breadsticks yet, which is like the first time that's ever happened. I'm kind of annoyed actually because I'm so hungry right now. And every time we get these breadsticks, we absolutely destroy them, don't we? Finally got our breadsticks and soup. My raspberry lemonade tasted really watered down, so she got me a new one and also put the raspberry syrup on the side so I can pour it in. You're so difficult. <laughs> no, I'm not difficult. I just like it sweeter. Oh, I'm difficult. What did you just say? Now mine's oh, it is? Well, I got syrup now, so oh, <laughs> pour sure something there. Uh, let's do this process. I'll do a little at a time. Here. All right, well, we both finished our soups and breadsticks, and we're about to go on round two of soup and breadstick because I'm our food eating, isn't here yet. I'm not eating breadsticks. I eat the soup, but I get full off bread. Really yeah. easy. I got the spaghetti rosso. Try this out. They also have pesto sauce on this, too, which I love pesto sauce, so hopefully it's good. And we got our soups and the bread, but it came at the same time they as said, this. Yeah, they said that... Um, they said it was going to be a while. Cooking. Yeah. It was going to be a little while. Your soup, I was like, sure. And then, but they came at the same time. We're getting so much cheese put on her stuff that she actually ran <laughs> Now it's gonna go back in the back and get some more cheese. Oh, I can have more cheese. <laughs> Me and Lizzie are gonna have the biggest stomach ache after this. Not only because we're eating out right now, but because we're actually going to Sky Zone after this. And we just found out now because Vince texted me. He's like, yo, you wanna go to Sky Zone? And he told us the time. So we're gonna go there and jump all around, and our stomach's gonna be like full as we're jumping around. So I'm just gonna, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat right now and get this out of the way. This is the first time I've ever tried bacon in pasta, but it's actually a pretty good mix. This thing is so much more convenient for paying for your food compared to waiting for the waiter or waitress to come over here and actually give you the check and then you have to sign it and go through the whole process. Right here I can just swipe my card and I'm ready to go. I'm just trying to figure out how we plan on jumping on trampolines in about an hour. At least it's an hour and not like in 20 minutes. Man, I don't even know if I feel like I'm down to go to Sky Zone right now because I'm so tired. Yeah, I'm actually not going to go to Sky Zone because I just feel like complete shit. And I know what's going to happen. I'm going to start jumping. I'm going to feel fine at first. And then I'm probably going to end up going to the bathroom and puking up all of my food that I ate. I think it's better off for me to just chill. So this dude's strained fallout made me a dope new banner for my channel. And this just looks really sick. So shout out to you, man, for making me this. I really do appreciate it. I just actually uploaded this to my channel. So if you guys want to go check it out, just click on my channel. But if you guys want to check him out, this is his channel as well. We're about to go swimming. And she dead ass looks like a poodle. Turn around. Your hair. <laughs> That looks like a poodle. We literally haven't done anything in the past couple of hours, but we're about to go into the pool right now. Well, actually, we're going to the hot tub. I, like, almost never go in the pool. I love going into the hot tub for some reason. 
We need to go knife swimming and bring in your camera. It looks cool as shit. All right, guys, so that is pretty much going to wrap up today's vlog. We have done almost nothing <laughs> since we got back from eating. We're just so tired, and honestly, I just didn't even feel like recording anything. I just wanted to relax. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you never miss a video. She always does that way too early, <laughs> but we'll see you next time. Well, I, I she still didn't it. get it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I knew it was going to pop. I knew it. <laughs>